that's my passport. It says the People's Republic of China, and I don't agree to put the、uh, Chinese national security law into the Hong Kong Basic Law. Hello, everybody.、Uh, today I have a very special guest here on the show, and、uh, could you please introduce yourself? Of course, you don't have to give away any very specific details, but、uh, maybe just tell people a little bit about yourself. Okay. Hi, hi everyone.、Uh, I'm a freshman at New York University in the United States.、Mm -hmm. um, but currently, I'm not in New York. I mean, other places. There's been something that I've been、uh, talking about a lot in my videos、uh, when it comes to the way the Chinese government operates, and it's this intimidation that they use in order to silence. Opinions of people they don't agree with that don't agree with them, right? So, for instance, with me,、uh, when they didn't like my videos, people were sent after my wife and after my family. They tried to, you know,、um, cause trouble that way. And you have a very similar story, don't you? Maybe you can tell everybody what happened to you. Okay.、Um, yeah, actually, I have a similar story. That、um, I'm living in Wisconsin, that's、uh, near Chicago,、mm -hmm. and. It's、uh, near the、uh, June Fourth, the Tiananmen Massacre,、yeah. and well, I decided to、uh, organize a memorial near the、uh, Chinese consulate in Chicago.、Mm -hmm. So I created a Facebook event page.、Um, I ask people and myself to help to promote it in、mm -hmm. different groups on Facebook, on Twitter. Right.、Um, that page was. Created on May twenty first, and it's like yesterday. My father gave me a phone call, saying that they got a phone call from the、uh, national security. While、well, they think it might be a spam, but they actually said that I am organizing an event in Chicago and asked me to delete that Twitter and the、uh, event and、mm -hmm. not going there. Okay, yeah. So, this is what's actually very scary, right? Is this is not on Chinese social media? You did this on Facebook、no. and Twitter, right? You are、yeah. you are living overseas. You're not in China. So, you wanted to organize this event to just basically go have a memorial for the Tiananmen Square massacre outside、yeah. the Chinese consulate. And what happened was your parents in China got a phone call from the national security asking you,、yeah. asking them to tell you to take that down. You know,、yeah. this, I, this is just terrible. This is scary, and I think a lot of people in the Western world just don't understand how hard won freedom of speech is. You know, I mean, for me personally, I did not get any email or text or phone call, but my parents get them. That's that's not fair. <laughs> no, it's not fair, and that's the way they do it, especially because I I understand. How important family is in China? Yeah,、um, wow, you know, yeah, it's important all over the world, but you know, in China specifically, the family unit is very important. And、right. so, this is their way of censoring you because they can't have control over Facebook and Twitter. If if it was in China, they would just delete the posts off of like, WeChat <laughs> or Weibo or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to delete it? Or are you keeping it up? What's happening? Um. So so far, I have deleted it,、okay. and well, it's pretty funny that I tried hard to promote it, but actually, I'm afraid that nobody will come except me,、right. because Chicago is under a lockdown. Right. Um. And I mean, very few people like five are interested. Sure. Um. <laughs> and. Just one person tell me that well he might go. So even it's a very tiny protest, they still order、yeah. me to delete it, the event. So I yeah I cancel the event on Facebook. You、okay. you could still find the page, but it's saying that it's canceled. Okay, I see.、Yeah. Wow. So yeah, it just shows you even the slightest little protest, like you say, a small people. It's a small little thing. They can't tolerate it. That they actually have to go and you know.、Uh, Approach your family in China to try、yeah. and intimidate them and make them force you to stop it. It's it's a terrible situation. So you can just imagine if you were doing something big on a big scale, if you had a lot of <laughs> followers, right? Or if you were changing、yeah. minds, if if you were making a big protest,、uh, the lengths that they would go to would be extreme. You know. Yeah.
Oh man, I'm super sorry to hear that uh, that this has transpired. But it's it is very important, and I'm very happy that you're talking to me because yeah. it proves that what I've been saying is real. Because it, it's happened to me personally. It's happened to a lot of my <laughs> Chinese friends. But whenever I talk about it, people don't take me seriously. They think I'm uh, making up uh, conspiracy theories or something, <laughs> you know, some nonsense like that. But it's true, and uh, especially you as a Chinese person living in the states. You lend a lot of credibility to this, and I hope it opens up the eyes of everybody who is supporting uh, the Chinese government at the moment to realize that this is a very dark side of that particular government. That's real. You know, I'm not sure if my parents has told me right, but actually, um, I uh, I have two things they ask me. Yeah. One is the the one is the Twitter thing. One is the Facebook events that I. T- Told you, yeah. I'm afraid that the Twitter thing they say probably refers to another thing I posted on Twitter. Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, so I said my name is blah blah blah.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a Chinese citizen with. I have a photo of my passport. Yeah.、Um, and I said that I don't agree to put the the、uh, Chinese national security law into the Hong Kong Basic Law. Oh, you you said that. Yeah, I said that. That's on Twitter. That's like、um, pretty popular. <laughs> I don't agree to put the、uh, Chinese national security law into the Hong Kong Basic Law. I can understand now why <laughs> why your parents are getting contacted. If you're saying things like that on Twitter, and if you're organizing a Tiananmen Square、uh, <laughs> memorial in front of the consulate in Chicago, I can understand why your parents would be pressured、uh, so much,、uh, man. It's such a sad state of affairs, and I just want to again say that I 100% support you, and I support your your right to have an opinion, you know. And whether people agree、yeah. with it or not, you should still be able to say that. Thanks, man. I think you probably have opened a lot of people's eyes today. A very serious message to all of my audience out there: whether you agree with what I usually say or not. I think we can all agree that what has happened to this young man is just unacceptable. This is the kind of thing that's been going on forever. Chinese people living abroad have to deal with this all the time, and whether or not they actually deal with it, they are still intimidated and prevented from speaking out and having an opinion because they are worried about this particular thing happening. Let me put it into context for you. Imagine. You, as an American citizen, decide you're going to go and study in France, and you're in France, and you say something bad, oh, bad. You have an opinion about the president of America, Donald Trump, that isn't very nice, and you post it on social media. Imagine the CIA contacts your parents in America and tells them that they better make you take those posts down off of Facebook and Twitter, or there's going to be trouble. It's just—it's absolutely unfathomable. This level of intimidation by this very insecure government that runs China is very widespread, and it's very worrying. And I think we can all agree that this is not the way forward for society. Anyway, I want to thank once again the very brave young man who came on the show today. He did have to delete his Twitter post, make his whole Twitter private. He had to cancel the event, and I really do hope that. There are no more repercussions for him. Unfortunately, this is the intimidation and the censorship of China, and its hands of the hands of the CCP reaching abroad in action. Now you know how it works. I hope it's opened your eyes. Stay awesome. So one of the stereotypes I've always tried to break through my YouTube videos is that、uh, China is actually an incredibly friendly and hospitable place. Why do you want to come here? Ah, ah. 我们在路上一起就碰见在一起了。不要钱了，烧给你们吃，烧给你们吃。Even in this poor place, she refused to take my money. She ran and like stuffed it in my in my 
my little scrap here. You drink about three of those, you're gonna you're gonna find a beautiful girl and you know you're gonna last at least half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> being here so long and being able to speak the language and actually talk to the local people and experience all these different local cultures was something really special.